everyone and welcome to Royal Randwick on Oaks Day. What a day it's going to be. Two big Group 1 races coming your way. And of course, the Oaks Ladies Day brings all the ladies out in their finery. And by gee, there's plenty of colour. Sydney has turned on the weather for what is going to be a wonderful couple of races we're bringing to you on the wide world of sports. Everyone's enjoying themselves and we plan on you enjoying yourselves at home as well. It's going to be an absolute wonderful couple of races. And, of course, with me on the Wide World of Sports Turf team, Kenny and Ron, fellas, uh, a couple of great Group 1 races about to come along. Yeah, great days racing simply because of the fact that Sunline's running. It's something, you know, your, your grandfather tells you that he saw Farlap or Tullick or whatever. You'll be able to tell your, your grandkids, Simon, that you saw Sunline. Yeah, it's exciting to see her again, Ron. Yeah, it certainly is. She is the mayor of the world, and both Geez, uh, this Australian AJC Oaks is one of the best I can uh, remember, in my memory anyway. Let's have a quick peek at the races that are coming your way this afternoon on the Wide World of Sports. We'll start with the All Aid Stakes in a couple of minutes' time. That's race five on the program, the first of the Group 1 events. And then at 3.50, the big one, race six, the AJC Australian Oaks. And, uh, well, it's they're going to be a couple of belter races. And, of course, the All Aids features Sunline. Now, let's have a quick look at the totes and... Uh, well, I would say Sunline's going to be the hot pot, but we'll get to her in a minute, Kenny. Yeah, she sure dominates the market, Simon, and well, she might. El Morata, TAB number one, and I think he's probably a, her main danger is at $13. Weasel Will, $20. Dress Circle, $22. Sent Home at $17. Kingsgate, $38. Tears Rule, $10. Mole Man, part owned by the man sitting alongside me, Ronnie Duffercy, and likely to lead Sunline early at $14. Let's Compromise at $71. TAB number nine is Oscar Warrior at $89. And the champ is returning a dollar thirty for a dollar investment. Well, Ronnie, you talk, we talk of the champ. Kenny talks of the champ. Moa Man, you've got in it. Let's have a look at Sunline uh, in the mounting yard. Just how she looks at the moment. See how big run last week, obviously in the Doncaster. Uh, looks to be spot on again. Yeah, it's an extremely strong mare. She handles racing. She always has. When she was beaten in this race last year, she'd had a very tough prep uh, preparation. She'd come back from Dubai, and that I think knocked her about a bit wrong. Well, it was a heavy track that day, and you've got to uh, understand this is a weight for age race today. She's carrying the bottom weight. Last week she carried the top weight, so she's a weighted certainty, really. Well, really, uh, when you look at her, she does look spot on, but someone who would know whether she's spot on or not of course is co-trainer Steve McKee and earlier this week he caught up with our own Tim Sheridan. Steve at a glance this race looks like a bit of a sunline benefit because horses that really aren't in her class well she's getting two and a half kilos. Yeah that's right um, you know she's pretty well placed at the weights when you look at it on you know on weights and measures especially uh, compared to say a handicap race like the Doncaster. How's the horse been this week? Very good, yeah. She's um, just had a pretty light week all around and uh, she bounced through that run really well. As she gets a little bit older, Steve, uh, is it more difficult to back her up and do, does your philosophy about that change a little bit? Yeah, we've probably only backed her up, uh, I think, three times week to week and um, I think she's won each time. So she does back up very well. Um, you know, she comes through the run last week, uh, comes through it well pretty quickly too. So, um, you know, that's why we weren't hesitant backing her up the you know, today. That's of great credit to her, isn't it? Because it was a tough race. It was a very tough race, but, you know, um, she's had one of those careers where she's had a lot of tough ones and, um, you know, she does come through it pretty well. Sunline in front, Shogun Lodge seeing daylight, but Sunline's in front. Shogun Lodge tries to pick her up, but great near flight. She hangs on. Shogun Lodge low. Upon reflection, thinking this week, was last Saturday one of her greatest achievements? I think had to be right up there. Um, you know, she was, uh, a lot of people thought she was in like with 58 kilos, but you know, the fact was she was giving away a lot of weight to every horse. Um, and even when you consider Shogun Lodge, the turnaround there was two and a half kilos. So, uh, you know, to lead all the way in a Doncaster, it's not easy to do. It may look easy, but certainly not. Steve, uh, there was a lot of emotion, wasn't there? Racing can be a, a shallow business, we all know that, but the affection was genuine, wasn't it? 
I think it was. You know, she's um, she's been so consistent at the highest level for so long, and uh, you know, people come out to watch great horses, and um, and it was a great day all round. Yeah, we're not too far away from seeing a great horse in action. I've got a funny feeling my um, two turf men next to me are going to fancy Sunline as we have a look at their tips. Kenny's gone with Sunline, El Morada and Moa Man and Ronnie, of course, Sunline, El Morada and sent home. And Kenny uh, slipped Moa Man in on him. Yeah, how come you left Moa Man out? I, oh, well, I'm, I'm yeah. hope you're right. I'd love to run third. I'd take that if you give it to me now. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not too far of finding uh, out how Moa Man goes. The All-Aid Stakes right after this break. have made their way around to the barrier for the all age stakes group one level and there's four hundred thousand dollars up for grabs well let's have a quick look at the totes before the horses start going into the barrier yeah el morado has come in just a touch to twelve dollars uh, weasel will at twenty dollars twenty four dollars for dress circle uh, sent home he's come back uh, from new zealand again at fourteen dollars kingsgate 42 eleven dollars for tears rule 14 for Moa Man, 86 for Let's Compromise. Numbers 9 and 10, Oscar Warrior at $100. And Sunline, solid, steady, at a $1.30 return for a dollar investment. Well, the famous uh, Randwick Miles, she was seen winning the Doncaster last week and today returns to the mile. Ronnie, tactically, I mean, your horse goes forward, Moa Man. How do you think the jockeys are going to try and combat Sunline? Yeah, well, I think with Moa Man drawn inside uh, Sunline, he'll go forward, find the fence, uh, roll along. She won't get across him easily, I can tell you that much. And uh, But if she wants to cross, she's got too much power with uh, less weight than us. But she might just pop up outside, get a rest and sprint away, I'd suggest. Yeah. Jenny, do you see it any differently? Well, I, I, he's the obvious horse that will go forward uh, uh, with her. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she sat outside him. But if she can lead Moa Man without maximum effort, she will. And I thought uh, El Morata from Two Alley would then uh, get a nice cosy run and so would Tears Raw from One Alley. But uh, the speed of the race probably, de uh, you know, is, is, will go a long way to determining uh, whether she wins easily or just has a cruise or whatever. But it's impossible to go past her. This marvellous mare, she's won $10 million in prize money. She's won 30 of her 43 starts and she's just extra special. All righty, there's only nine opponents today, uh, or I should say, uh, yeah, there's uh, a field of 10. And to call those 10 runners, courtesy of Sky Channel, here's Terry Bailey. Thank you very much, Kenny. And Sunline, well, can she do it? Can she go over $11 million after her great win in the Doncaster and the crowd? They're all here to see her, the big crowd flocking for this great, great champion. Now, Kingsgate moves in, and Dress Circle will be the last one to move in. Sunline began brilliantly out of the barrier when she won the Doncaster last Saturday. Very relaxed in the mounting yard. And they're all set for the running of the NTG All Aid Stakes. Lights on. Stand by. Racing. Sunline about third away. Fast out tears Royal. Sunline's gathering speed. Moa Man's going up on the inside of the mare. And Moa Man's going to lead Sunline settling fully into stride. Not far away, sent home El Morada and Tears Royal on the fence fifth. A length and a half, Oscar Warrior Kingsgate. Let's compromise, Dress Circle and Weasel Will, the last one. Moa Man took over. Sunline's working. She's out three deep. She leads up to the second division going forward outside of Moa Man. Sent home, easing back, checking off heels third. One away, El Morada. Tears Royal, the fence from Kingsgate. They were being followed by Oscar Warrior. Let's compromise, Dress Circle and Weasel Will. Will the Victorians last of all? Moa Man in front. Leads the way at the 850 by a length and a half on Sunline right behind him. Two and a half sent home. Two links, El Morada. Tears Royal fifth defence. Then Kingsgate Oscar Warrior. Let's compromise. Dress Circle and Weasel Will dropped out last. Coming towards the bend, 600 to go. Moa Man in front giving a sight. Leading by a length on Sunline who looks to be coasting at the moment.
moment. Two lengths away, sent home. El Morada, Kingsgate, Tears, Royal Oscar, Warrior, Dress Circle. Let's compromise. And last of all, as they straighten up, is Weasel Will. Up the famous Royal Ramblick Rise, and the Queen of the Turf has now lifted a gear. She's gone up a level, and she's raced away by two and a half. Three lengths on Moa Man. Then sent home, Kingsgate to the outside. But sit back, Sydney. Start cheering your hearts out. One of the all-time great Sunline, and she is killing them. Look at her go. Sunline six in front, and what a win from the great one. She's done it again. Set home second, dress circle third. They were followed by Kingsgate Oscar Warrior, then Moa Man, El Marada, Tears Royal. Let's compromise Weasel Will, and isn't she just great? Wowee, Sunline, number 10, $1.30, and it was nearly stealing, wasn't it? $1.30 return for a win, $1.10 a place. Number four, sent home second, $2.20. And number three, dress circle third, $4.40. And well, when Greg Child said go, Wishka, it was all over in a bound, and uh, the mighty mare bounded away. We come into the straight, and it's Moa Man uh, in front from Sunline. Running third there in the white sleeves is Sent Home, who eventually runs second, and Dress Circle is in the white cap, second last. But at this stage, Child says, let's go, baby. And Ronnie, it was just a matter of how far. Oh, how good is she? She's backed up within a week. She just demoralised the opposition there. What a good Sydney Cup trial from Dress Circle, getting home very, very nicely late, catching the eye back in distance. I'd say Gay is setting a, a staying path for him next week. Well, she ran 134.38, which is uh, only a half second outside Shaftesbury Avenue's race record. It was... Uh, a, a, a fabulous, uh, a fabulous effort indeed. And uh, uh, she's really a wonder mare. As Terry said before the race, that takes her over $11 million. Tim Sheridan, I reckon there's some happy people around. Well, Trevor McQuee, 13 Group 1s. What a performance. I mean, th that was never a contest. No, it certainly wasn't today. It was a fantastic effort altogether from her. And uh, just uh, that's in with keeping what uh, she does most of the time. The way she ran just then, you'd have to speculate that there's still a fair bit of racing left in it. Oh, it certainly is, and, and uh, we'll just uh, finish our campaign for this year and go back home and uh, reassess if, whether we bring it back in the spring or not. Trevor, it all began here a few years at Randwick with a victory, and you're going away. I mean, you've bookended her career here. What are your thoughts on, you know, this course and, and what she's achieved here? Well, certainly, uh, she's just about unbeaten here. I think she's only been beaten twice altogether on, on the track, and uh, it's been a fa fantastic track for her. OK, mate, thank you. Up, go and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Very good. Well, Sunline turned seven in August, which is pretty old for a horse, but uh, Simon O'Donnell, you'd never know it. The zest he's showing. Oh, fair thing. That, that, that's just... Uh, look, I, it was a no, no contest, uh, unless something dramatic went wrong. Uh, Greg Child, you see, they're probably sitting up 30 metres from home. But, but I, I think, Ken, we're seeing not only the best mare we've ever witnessed on an Australian track, I think we're witnessing, we've witnessed the best horse on an Australian track. Yeah, it's, it's certainly very... I mean, you can certainly base an argument that, that this is the best horse we've ever seen. Yeah, well, she's right up there with the best, I, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'd have her over Kingston Town yet, but by golly, uh, she's certainly a people's horse, uh, Simon. And uh, just have a look at the uh, reception she's going to get as she comes back. And I, I've got a feeling she'll be back in Melbourne for the Cox Plate uh, in the spring. Well, I would think so. So, and, uh, you know, I suppose in, in racing circles, sometimes you, know, you start questioning mares and their performances. Once they get to six and seven years old, they can get a little bit finicky. But I tell you what, there's not a finicky bone in her body at the moment. She is a superstar, best horse I've ever seen. It's time I uh, drop octagonal down a rung, and she is an absolute superstar. Well, we're going to take a break as Greg Childs brings Sunline Back to scale, $11 million plus she's won on the Australian track. In tonight's edition of National Nine News. The Queen Mother honoured by the largest procession in a generation. Anti-Israeli protests in Sydney. A fire try romp by the Bulldogs' Nigel Wagner. National Nine News tonight. Gee, smooth ride. Standard air, ABS, and look at all these extras. Sports trim, automatic transmission, cruise control, 16 inch alloys, free spoiler. It's got the love. How do you score this? Look at it. 
thinks he's king of the road. So, what do you think? About what? New Series 3 Falcon SR, now sporting unbeatable value. Can't cook? They won't care when they feast their eyes on a dining room from Brescia's once a year dining room sale. Up to 50% off our entire dining range. It ends soon, so don't be late. Brescia, live the life. Win a Cadbury movie party for you and a hundred friends to see Star Wars Attack of the Clones plus special Cadbury prize packs. Watch The Phantom Menace this Sunday night on Channel 9 with a block of Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate and answer the question on screen. Wouldn't it be nice to win with Cadbury? sheets for an even gentler start to the day. Peter. Peter? New sorbent extra thick. Don't miss spinning around. 50 years of festival records of the Powerhouse Museum. Burn your own CD from a collection of favourite festival hits. Play instruments or try your hand at the mixing desk. Don't miss this colourful and highly interactive exhibition featuring a behind-the-scenes look at the recording industry from the days of vinyl to compact disc. The amazing story of festival records on now at the Powerhouse Museum. The film was historically quite inaccurate. The army couldn't take the city because they weren't provided with their winter woolies. The film didn't capture that detail. Yeah, a butterfly flaps its wings in Sao Paulo and there's a tidal wave in South Africa. Someone buys a cup of coffee in New York and in Tokyo the stock market crashes. You know who makes the best sandwiches? I do. Deluxe Wash and Wear 101. Tonight, a show all pet lovers must watch. When good pets go bad. Honey is turned video 6 30 tonight on Channel 9. There she is, the superstar. No problems, Greg Child standing up in the irons and giving a wave because if he did fall off, they had about 50 metres to um, dodge around him. I can tell you it was a wonderful win by Sunline. There she is returning to scale. She's just a super horse. Superlatives, they run out in the end. Greg Child's be really interesting to talk to him and find out what sort of feel he gets underneath because it must be spooky. That was a group one field, Kenny. It sure was, and she paid $1.30 and $1.10 just to recap. Four cent home, two twenty. Dress Circle 440. Uh, if you're betting on Super Tab in Victoria or the uh, Queensland and South Australian tabs, you got a slightly better dividend of 5 to 2 on $1.40. By golly, that's good dividend. Well, I thought it was going to be exciting to hear from Greg Childs. I'll tell you what, it is going to be exciting to hear from Greg Childs because here he is with Tim Sheridan. Greg, we're running out of words to describe this horse, really, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, She's just winning these races over and over. Um, there's no need to travel. The prize money here is in Australia. And uh, she's proven that with the record money she's won. Just an awesome horse. And what you've seen today is how it felt. Awesome. How many more times do you reckon? Well, it's up to the McKees. I'm only the pilot. I do what I'm told and I do the best I can. And the McKees will uh, work out a program. Okay, mate, congratulations. What a good way of explaining it. What you saw today is, is what it felt like. It was just awesome. Oh, she's something special. If you don't uh, think she's one of the greatest you've ever seen, well, you're kidding yourself. I, I think probably why she, or a, reason, a contributing factor of why she's been so good could be that, I mean, she's a front there runner. She's not back there in the ruck getting into trouble like Shogun Lodge. I think, you know, 10 or 11 times he's been placed in Group 1 events. But, but she's up there and she's setting the pattern of the race. And another thing why I think people love her, 
she hasn't been mollycoddled. She's running everything. She's running cox plates, handicaps like Doncasters, all the good weight for age races, Epsoms, Doncasters, whatever's on, she runs in it. And uh, she always acquits herself so well. You talk of the Doncaster, Derby Doncaster last Saturday. It, it, it was a ripper day. I mean, two great highlights. Obviously, someone winning the Doncaster. But Don Eduardo, that was, was a pristine derby. I thought it was great. I backed him. But I've got to say, it's the best race day we've had in Sydney for perhaps, oh, well, at least 10 years. Well, um, we want to show you a little more about what happened last week. It was a great race day. And we put together a musical tribute to what was a great day, Derby Doncaster Day. Take a look at this. What a race it's going to be. Is it Don Eduardo? Is it Carnegie Express? Yeah, this is going to be one of the great classics, the AJC Sam McGuell Australia Derby of the year 2002. Set for the running of the Australian Derby, the Blue Raban, they're racing. And Carnegie Express jumps centre of the line. Prince of War near the inside away well. Don Eduardo on the fence, Valedict three out, and Carnegie is now zooming forward for deep. Valedict led by a length on in second position. My Italian Carnegie Express has gone up three wide. He's gone up very quickly. And in a lightning move, Jimmy's taking him to the front. He's race clear by two and a half to My Tally. On the fence, Valedict, the link Prince of War. Don Eduardo, flat footed when they took off. Where's Don? He's under a lot of pressure, but he's starting to run on. Down to the 300, Carnegie Express. Jimmy calls for him now. He's two in front. The Victorians are giving chase. Fantastic. Here comes Don. Don is one of us. Carnegie Express. Don is one of us. Carnegie Express in front. The Don left him and beat him. Don is one of us on the last stride. And Oliver loves it. He's just won it from Carnegie Express. What a derby. Don Eduardo, you little beauty. But it's just pandemonium here. The hugs of Victory Lee. Uh, that is a heart stopper. I'm just going to get my breath. <laughs> oh, it was a fantastic staying performance. You know, I just thought he had no hope when Jimmy put five lengths on him. But he's, I knew Rand would get to him. He's a great stayer. My bloke is just a real true stayer. He relaxed well. The credit to the Freedmans. Two horses in the race. It, it, exactly what it was. It was a literally dead ding dong battle. I couldn't have been more pleased the way our bloke did. The winning jockey, Damien Oliver, is celebrating and well he might. He's won the AJC Derby. The Galaxy, another Group 1 event, is the next race on the contenders are in the mounting up. Bay Shaker standing well, racing. Bay Shaker mystiging away quickly. Eight eights began reasonably well and done in the time. Mestijic in front, Century Kid trying for dear life to gun him down, but he can't. Mestijic's in front of Century Kid, and Mestijic wins the Galaxy. Mestijic's beaten Century Kid. Now, you can't believe how much this horse deserves this time. He's been probably the best, con best sprinter this season without winning. And uh, full credit to Lee Curtis. What a, his first group one. But now the big one's just about to come up to Doncaster. Sunline. Oh, she's a fantastic mare, an absolute champion. Uh, they'll, they'll rip this stand down if she wins here today. Gee, boss, doesn't he get excited? If he wins at Doncaster, you'll see a little bit of a groove and a dance like he has done before. Racing from the Magic Mile and away fast sunline. Huge demand began brilliantly and ha ha showing speed. The great mare out by a length on ha ha. Nickled at the chase, the great one. Two links to dash for cash. Then came huge demand. Two links away, Gordo. Hosanna the man to fire to the outside. Uga Chaka and in Hey Potto. The magical mare comes over the rise. It's sunline leading by a length on ha ha. A length away, huge demand. The fire starting to sweep down the centre. Shogun Lodge is about to get out and charge home. Sunlight in front. Shogun Lodge leading back by. But Sunlight's in front. Shogun Lodge tries to pick her up. The great near fight. She hangs on. Shogun Lodge, no! No, Sunlight or Shogun Lodge. Gee, there's no 
nothing and it's Sunline or Showdown Lodge. There's Sunline in front. Here she she's goes. She's won it. She's won it. Diving at him, but he doesn't get there. And Sunline wins the Doncaster. Sunline has beaten Showgun Lodge. And third was number 11, Defire. Sunline first, Showgun Lodge second, Defire third. And this Randwick crowd will go mad. What do you say? I think you just say, hail the champ. Glenn Boss thought he'd nailed her. But let me tell you, Glenn, you never nail this horse. most excited woman I think I've ever seen in racing, even more so than Gabe Waterhouse. Claire, can you speak to us? No. <laughs> they I'm... came over here, they hugged the life out of you. Oh, I know, it's just really excited. She, you know, she's just... Any knocker she's got now can just... You know, they just can't knock her anymore after that. She's in front, she's there to be beaten, but she's a champ. She's just a champ. Yeah. Well, Bobby Thompson, you said during the week it would take a great horse to hold you out, and how much on the money were you? Yeah, he was beaten by a champion, and it's no disgrace to get beat a short half head by a champion. He never disgraces us, the horse, and his turn will come in a Group 1 race. The best mare I've ever seen, and I think the best mare probably anybody's ever seen in this part of the world, the mighty Kiwi Sunline, after taking out Australia's biggest mile, the AJC Sam McGuell Doncaster. Yeah, that makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck, doesn't it? A wonderful day, Derby Doncaster Day last Saturday. It's going to be a great day here at Randwick as well with the AJC Oaks just around the corner. Themselves. So are we. We've seen a great race in the All Aid Stakes, and we've got another one coming up in about 15 minutes' time, and that will be the AJC Oaks. Well, let's get an early call on the totes. We're about 15 minutes away from race time. Kenny, take us through them. Yeah, this is a Group 1 race to find the best staying filly in Australasia. Elegant Fashion from uh, South Australia is at $6. 60 Seconds from New Zealand is favoured at $2.10. Republic Lass, $5.40. Keys at $12. Vapor Trail at $8.30. Uh, Demachino, $31. Pirouettes, $48. Uh, Factional uh, at $15. Over the page to number nine, Periphery at $45. And Anytime Angel, $88. Well, can it be a feature double for the Kiwis today. Sunline, Trevor McKee, they're based in New Zealand. So is 